All right, what is going on everyone? Misprint here and today I actually have a video that I was very excited to make as soon as I ordered this prod product. I um, was, I mean, just very curious to see how it would turn out. It is Mystery Pokey Slabs. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you might have heard of it recently. They've, I guess, just put out ads everywhere um, with them selling, uh, I mean, mystery slabs, mystery packs, and I mean, a ton of like vintage or current mystery Pokemon style stuff. And then they've been giving out like big booster boxes. Like I know the last one was, um, maybe it was, oh, it was a gym trainer box, something like that. I don't know. That was the set that I ordered this out of. I mean, they aren't sponsoring this at all. Um, I was, I've never been a big fan of mystery boxes, um, but I saw a deal that I was very curious about. I actually ordered five mystery booster packs and the normal price they charged was like 90 to a hundred dollars and they had it on sale for $60. And so it got me curious of since it was on sale, are they going to give you crappier packs or does this mean I have a better chance of getting my money back in terms of packs? So, I'm going to open this box up, we're going to get into it, and we are going to see what our luck is in terms of some mystery booster packs. So, I've been... Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit forward. I got my name in the, <laughs> in the mix right there. I'll take this to the side. Um... Okay, but anyways... We have got our five mystery um, boxes here. And then, yeah, this is their whole thing. Once again, not sponsored by them. This is really just to see how uh, mystery Poke Slabs is, how they perform, if they actually, I mean, give you somewhat worth. And I'm, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll see how it is. Um, I'll open the first one up. I'm going to do this. I'm very cautiously, very slowly. I'm still... Okay. Um, I'm going to struggle. I've been considering, like, if I get a cool pack that I really like and want to keep it sealed, I, I mean, there's no way to prove if they weigh packs whatsoever. So maybe they're down to give me older packs. Um, but then they weighed them, so... Like, they're guaranteed to have nothing in it. I don't, like, I don't know. There's there's nothing you can really prove when it comes to this, so we will just see, anyways, what we got for the first pack. Here's the back of it. Flip it around. All right, so, base, Paradox Rift. That's, I mean, that's pretty disappointing right off rip. I'm going to be honest. Um, it's It's fine. Yeah, yeah, they're, so it's, it's fine, um, they are still going for, I mean, they're, like, traditional $5 per pack value, um, so anyways, we'll open this one up, we'll see if we can get anything from it, I mean, I guess it's been a long, well, did I say base? I mean, well, Paradox Rift, I've opened up plenty of Paradox Rift, I, did I say I, I don't know. I'm confusing myself. I think I might have actually said base set Scarlet Violet for some reason, which we all know that's not the case. Um, I've pulled, I've had a couple pulls from this. I've gotten the Golden uh, Iron Valiant, I think it is, from this set. But just a Chin Pao Hollow. So that is one-fifth of it down the drain. Um, okay, so let's get in... Well... Set that to the side. All right, let's get into the second pack here. Open this up. All right, pull it out. Careful not to get any glue on it whatsoever. I'll set the little gold pack down there. And we have a silver tempest here. Lugia, actually, I really, I mean, it, it would just be unimaginable luck if we did manage to pull the Lugia V from this set. Oh, and we got all the cards facing that way. Does that mean... Um... Like, always curious if these could be resealed packs as well. I could look close. I mean, like, Silver Tempest wouldn't be worth something worth uh, resealing. Um... 
Yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at that. That's perfectly fine. Um, but anyways, we will give out that code card. We will flip this around. Just go through it. There is that. And then Articuno Hollow is our rare. I thought it was going to be four. I thought that was a card trick, but I decided against doing it just in case I messed up. Um, but I mean, still, I'm, I'm still a big fan of Articuno. All the legendary birds absolutely love. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, getting into the third pack. And with the first two running at about five, because it's a new set, and then, like, I don't know what Silver Tempest running at, like, three... Like, can you get some packs for three dollars? Um, so far, this is this is a pretty pretty bad return. Oh, this is a well, Astral Radiance gives it up right there, and it's even sleeved too. I do appreciate seeing the sleeved packs here because that always makes me. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it just it makes everyone more comfortable. Even though, like, this is into the era where uh, Wayne packs is just difficult but so we got astral radiance here it feels very good and quill fish there all right so we know there is that and one two three four throw those to the front did i mess it up no it's the same Perfect, Ursa Ring, Feather Ball, Hippowdon, Quillfish, Oshawott, Hootoot, Ponyard, Poochyanna, and an Alistair. Look at that. That is actually sick. I, I mean, I haven't pulled this for myself yet. I haven't opened up very many Astral uh, Radiances, but I do think that is a beautiful card. So one good pull out of these packs so far i mean decent decent i will set that to the side set those over there okay but anyways i mean regardless of the i keep bumping my camera here whenever i move um regardless of the fact that the pack isn't worth that much uh this card isn't worth that much either but i do i personally love just the style on it the artwork so that is one that i'm glad to uh, add to my collection but so far on the 60 dollars spent normally they charge 90 dollars for this um i have gotten three three packs i've gotten 11 dollars worth of packs so that is um i mean that's really bad i'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that at all And okay, we will get into this one. Oh, and we have that there. And then a sun and moon. Okay, so definitely, definitely getting better into the better packs here. All right, well, um, I guess anyways with sun and moon, like this is, I just had to double check the price on them. Um, it's running like $7 conservatively. Uh, right now which is not uh not terrible i made a little over half of my money back uh on that one specific package because i'm saying i paid about 12 dollars per package here but anyways let's get into opening these and there is a rare reverse followed by just a stout lend once again oh there's the code card um, I mean, once, once again, this is bad and this one is just opened already. Um, yeah, no, I didn't, I definitely didn't do that and the box didn't look resealed. I don't think. No, the tape on the box was pretty standard tape. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll get into the last one, and it is another sun and moon. Um. I mean, just all, all in all, like it. 
I, I knew what I was expecting. Like, it is a gamble when you order from anything like these. Um, but still doesn't, doesn't mean it's not a just big, I mean, disappointment, to say the least. Uh, and, oh, what do you know? Green card. Definitely <laughs> don't miss seeing those. We'll just do four. Yep. Uh, Ponsa Man, Growlithe, actually Growlithe is uh, my favorite guy, I'm going to set that to the side just because I like to hold on and collect any Growlithe that I run across. Alright, and like we knew, green code card, absolutely nothing. Um, I mean, so in the $60 that was spent in total, we got... 6, 11, 14, like $25 worth of packs. So we didn't even get, it was originally $90, 90 to 100 is what they charged. And we got in total $25 worth of booster packs. I would, I mean, don't spend your money on these. Like if you, if you want specific packs, well, I mean, if you like to get, like, it's kind of fun. Like every one I open, I could be like, oh, this could be something exciting. Uh, but definitely just spend your money on specific style packs if you want like i could have bought an evo a couple evolutions packs with this uh which is definitely something i want to add to my collection that would be really cool or just some other like a card that i've been very interested in or use it towards uh something else a couple i mean new peldian fates anything like that um but i mean it's you can do what you want uh this is still, I'm still happy to add a $3 card, so $60 to get a $3 card in my collection. Uh, very questionable, <laughs> but happy to have it. Uh, anyways, thank you all once again for coming, uh, watching the video. My name is Misprint. Please uh, like, subscribe, and comment uh, if you guys have actually ordered from anything like, uh, I mean, any companies like Mystery Poke Slabs, and if like there's got to be someone that's had a great experience out there so if you have had one uh, i would love to hear about it but you all have a great day deuces